How much are you asking on your games? A dollar. A dollar? Okay. a little bit yesterday yeah there's two dragon warrior twos in here one of them probably won't work i know like right. it's you can hear the inside yeah so i just want to let you know that okay like, but there's dot two there's another one in there as well cool let me uh send that here yeah, yeah. Look. i actually have a nintendo but i've taken it apart yeah and that's where the deer is I refurbish. Do you? Yeah. Right on. Those consoles. So okay. If you can't get it to work, I can I can get it to work for you. I got what about PlayStation 4s? I got one that this drive now. No, uh, I work on old stuff. <laughs> God, yeah, I got you. Man, I've had some of these since I was probably eight years old. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. That train is loud. No kidding. Yeah, go on. Final Fantasy Tactics was great too on PlayStation. Was that two? Yeah. PlayStation 1. 1? Yeah. yeah. I, I bought that several times and had it stolen from me. <laughs> that's crazy. I know. It sucks. And all the hidden characters on it. I wouldn't even part with these, man. Going through a hard time, lost my job, so. I know how that is. Sucks. You want 20 bucks? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll do that. There you go. Cool, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have you plugged it up and tested it lately? Well, I I didn't know how to plug it up. We tried to plug it up, but we didn't know what we were doing. Okay. Those two, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, there are two of them. These two right here. Yeah. That these two belong to. I figure they can they just can, glue back on. Yeah, they can be glued back on. Once you figure out which what's what. Cause see the <laughs> the worst part about the 5200s are these controllers. Mm -hmm. These controllers are notorious for failing, mm, yeah. and so it's hard. If, if any of them work, I'd be surprised. I got you. So that's why I was, you know, yeah. I didn't know asking you if if you plugged it up and tested it lately. Right. 
Um, because these, these things are just, nobody has any good luck with them. <laughs> and so right. the, the ones that you're able to like buy on eBay that do work, mm -hmm. they're, they're probably like $20, $25 a piece. I guess. Just because they're so hard to come by, you right, know, right. as far as a working condition. Working one, yeah. um, and they don't make aftermarket controllers for them. So, hmm. all right, what we say, 27? Yeah. All works. right, yeah, that works. Okay. Kind of like that, that should be 27 there. Yeah, yeah. Yep, sounds good. All right. This stack right here. You don't know about what you, what you, what you, what you pay for it. You didn't want none of these other controllers like this here, does it? No. Okay, so. Um. Twenty bucks. All right. There you go. Thanks, there. Thank you. How much you want for these two? Two dollars, please. But two dollars a piece plus tax. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. So, four thirty-two. Right, Twenty. I got change. Okay. Twenty-five. How much you want for it? Um, a, dollar. a dollar? Okay. Can do. I actually got to think some of the consoles. Like, yeah. I did see this power cord. I can I always use that. Power How much you want for that? Is that that's for the Nintendo. It's a, for a Sega. Sega. Oh, yeah. I got. I believe I got a Sega machine too. Okay, but I always need power cords because yeah. I always come across systems. I'll let you since you collect and resell. I'll let you have that for three. For three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll you do know, that. That's a deal. But I'll... I mean, you have to blow in the dam. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pop the charger up. Yeah. Pop the Or clean it with alcohol. Right. <laughs> it's only got a. I got you. I like DS too. Yeah, yeah. Did you end up finding one over there? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take a look. Are you looking okay? Yep. You're welcome. What did they think? want to come out the subtotal? Yeah. Alright. I need to see your ID now.
How much are you asking on your games? A dollar. A dollar? Okay. What do you do? Or are you taking... I, no, I film my uh, yard sale pickups for YouTube. Do you? Mm -hmm. What's that? That's got people that like to watch me hunt at yard sales. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'd be surprised. And no, I've seen some crazy things on Facebook or, you know, the internet. So $2 on the seasons and $1 on the games? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's 18 mm -hmm. Alright. There's 20 Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, thank you ma'am. Okay, YouTube, not as many finds this week as the first two weeks. We knocked those two weeks out of the park, but we're still finding stuff. There's still games to be found out there in the wild for dirt cheap. So at the beginning of the week, I picked up a rather large uh, Super Nintendo and NES uh, game lot. Uh, these are all the doubles that I picked up, games that I already have in my collection. So they're all for resale. Uh, except for Aladdin. Um, I didn't have Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. I had it on the Genesis, which is the better version. But I found two copies this week, and this one has a rather just garbage looking label. Uh, it's very paper feeling, whereas this one that I found today at a yard sale for a dollar, this one's very glossy um, in much better condition. So I'm going to keep this one. But we've got. Gemfire, Illusion of Gaia, uh, Super Mario World, uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game, NBA Jam Tournament Edition, a really nasty label, Aladdin, uh, Two Double Dragon 2s, two copies of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, Castlevania 2 Summons Quest, Spy Hunter, Qbert, Baseball Stars 2, which surprisingly that's, that's going for about 10 to 15 bucks, Dragon Warrior Friday the 13th, the Guardian Legend, and Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, all of these are great bundler games, and I've got quite a few of them with a Nintendo bundle currently listed. Then we found, let's see, where do we go next? 
sold a lot of stuff already. Um, I'll just start up here, okay? Got Pac-Man complete in box, um, as well as We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, and I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Hein Heineke? Heineke? Alien? Something. Anyway, I got these three games in a trade with Rain Bean. I picked up Dr. Mario 64 last week for him, sent it to him, and he sent me three Game Boy games. Was not expecting one of them to be complete in box, but that's fantastic. It only goes for about 10 to 12 bucks complete, so still happy to add a box game to the collection. For $20 today, I found a nice little bundle. We've got this fantastic Gears of War 360 with a 320 gig hard drive. Also picked up Batman The Enemy Within and Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, the Season Pass Edition, as well as um, a PlayStation 4 controller. It is here. It's just in my bedroom charging. Um, but I picked that up. And a power cable for the 360, which ended up not working. And we got some accessories here. Like, I mean, anytime I see stuff like this, at a garage sale or a flea market, I'm picking it up because you always need parts. I always find Wii's without a sensor bar or AV cables or something. And a copy of Wii Sports Resort. Um, the copy of Wii Sports Resort was trashed. It was garbage. Um, I didn't really look at it there at the flea market when I got home and inspected it. The center ring had cracks all around it, so I just tossed it. Which is disappointing because it's still trading in for $12 store credit or cash um, at GameStop. So picked all that up for 20 bucks. That was a nice find. This is something a little unorthodox for me to pick up. But back in high school, I used to play golf. And so I'm pretty familiar with some of the better name brand golf clubs. And I go into Goodwill today and this is just sitting in the bin. We got this tailor-made RBZ nine and a half degree driver with um, the graphite shaft and I looked this up on eBay and they're selling anywhere between 55 to 60 bucks. Goodwill had $5.99 on this golf club so that was a no-brainer. I picked it up, I bought it and I'm gonna list that and flip that on eBay. Picked up some movies this week, um, some really nice movies. The seasons I got today at the yard sale, and all three of those CSI Miami seasons are factory sealed. One of the seasons of House, which is season four, that is factory sealed. And then we got season three, season two, and season one. House is one of my favorite TV shows, as well as CSI Miami. So those aren't going anywhere. I'm keeping all those. Godzilla vs. Biollante. This is the second time I have found this movie. And it sells all day between $30 to $35. This is just one of those out-of-print Godzilla movies that you need to be on the lookout for. Uh, this is also released on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray is out of print and sells upwards of $80 to $100. So anytime you see Godzilla versus Biollante, pick it up. Especially if it's at a yard sale or, or a pawn shop for dirt cheap. Also picked up Taken. Superman Doomsday, or Taken the Three Movie Collection, Superman uh, Doomsday, Batman Gotham Knight, Batman Gotham by Gaslight, and Batman Year One got all five of those Blu-rays for $2 each. $1.80 after my 10% off from the pawn shop. Now, um, went to another yard sale today, and she had, uh, with these season movies, I found some video games. She wanted $2 each for the seasons, and then a dollar each on her video games. So I found Xenosaga, Simpsons Hit and Run. It does have a pretty gnarly case on it, but I can switch out the case on that. It's still complete. The Simpsons game, which has gone up in price, it's gone up pretty good. Um, what else was there? And, oh, and Kesson 2. So... All four of those games were a dollar, and like I said, the seasons were two dollars each. At the pawn shop, um, I found Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, which is I don't, it's pretty cheap, but I've never seen this game. This is the first time I've ever seen the game in the wild, so it must be a little uncommon. Um, but I found this for two dollars, along with that Godzilla vs. Biollante for two dollars. 
So that's going to recoup my money and made me some money. Then at another pawn shop, I picked up three games for $16 plus tax, which was a great deal. And those three games were uh, Crystal Mines. They had $29.99 on this. They had it priced for eBay price. Uh, not paying that at all. Uh, Mortal Kombat on the Vita. Um, the servers are offline for this game, but hopefully maybe I can still sell it. And then Pokemon Stadium. I mean, I'll make all my money back selling this. And be able to keep Crystal Mines. And then I'll you know sell Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat and make some money. Um, but these games right here are the ones I'm keeping for the collection. I got Galaga. Aladdin, Kesson 2, Mace Griffin, Bounty Hunter, and Crystal Mines. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, and when you do, hit that bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.